This episode of the Brutal View Podcast is brought to you by Alternative Original Clothing. AlternativeOriginal.com, selling accessories, streetwear, everyday clothing, and art. Alternative Original handpicks street styles, and their clothing outlet ships unique clothing from all over the world. This is extremely comfortable and high-end clothing. Again, visit AlternativeOriginal.com. Let's start a riot, a riot. <laughs> Bro, I'm totally going to edit that in. Damn. Do you know what the name of that song is? Is it just... I think it's, I think it's Riot it. by... Is it, it is Riot, right? By, like... The fucking... One of those... Let's start a riot. Breaking Benjamin start or something. Start Yeah, it's definitely something like that. Three Days Grace. Three Days Grace. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> breaking Benjamin or some shit. Right. <laughs> Same shit. Um, should we... Got dive into the shit or introduce the pod first because it might take a little bit if we dive into the shit. Hello. <laughs> During these tough times of America, I am your fellow American, Eric. Oh, I just shut my fucking computer off. God damn it. Should be anal. No, he fixed it. All right, we're good. All right. Didn't shut off. Hello, I am your fellow American, <laughs> John. I guess that's my cue. I am Anthony. By the hat, I mean, I'm wearing an American flag, <laughs> so I'm yes. the most American here, clearly. Clearly, clearly, <laughs> there's no debate there. I guess let's jump right fucking into it, man. Capital of America was stormed. Bro, that shit was overtaken, dude. Dude, the stormtroopers broke the fuck in. That shit was fucking overthrown. So this was like, what, Thursday? When, Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday during the day. Dude, I'm leaving work. Jake's like, yo, you seen the protests? I'm like, oh, some shit's going on in Manchester? No, I, I haven't seen shit. And he's like, no. I'm like, what? And then, yeah, when I open my fucking phone, holy shit. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Dude, that needs to happen. We need to take both parties and fucking talk. Not, like, talk about parties, bro. Bring, come together and just overthrow the government. I think think a lot of people could get behind that. But dude, look at how many not people there were. That's actually a good point. And we fucking, they went right into there, bro. Yeah. We need to go in there, not over a fucking election, but be like, yo, stop fucking treating us like shit, dude. Yeah. And it's kind of hype that we could do it, dude. Yeah. (laughs) They didn't want to kill anyone, bro. Like, they broke through. They killed someone. You know, like, did you see the video? They they opened those gates for them. Yeah. They didn't necessarily... Because like nothing they could do. Right. They were like, we're They're either like, going to die or we're going to die if we don't let them in. Why didn't they do that with, like, Antifa-type protests or black people? Keyword. What do you mean? Let, like, let them in? Or... Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's kind of tough to compare the two of them to, to be honest, like... I think these people are fucking clowns that went in, to be honest with you. Yeah. The, they had that look. <laughs> I, I was working in a place where I had no phone service while it was all going down and happening. So I'm getting a little bit of information on the phone here and there. Right. And I'm like, all right, they're, they're storming the Capitol. For what? Are they going in? Are they fucking are they armed? Are they, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are they doing? And then I see a there's video on there? Twitter and there's these people walking inside the red one. Lo- like velvet ropes of fucking like all professional. Though. I'm like, like right. what? A tour. Why? What? <laughs> like you're gonna go to jail for <laughs> what? You're not even doing anything. Fucking... Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a conspiracy guy, <laughs> yes, but a we lot are. of people are saying like that was like Antifa. Really? Just unmasked? Yeah, like they fucking certain tattoos. Some of them had and shit. And like I did see pictures the... from like Black Lives. Where they're like burning shit. They're I like, did see that. Yeah. These people are the exact same people doing fucked up shit. But no. it takes, bro. Like, I feel like if any of us were there, just to be there, bro, and someone's like, let's go break in, I'd be like, let's do it, dude. 
Fuck him. I want to go fucking take a shit in the Oval Office, bro. Well, it takes like to five a, people well, to, to accomplish the White House. To accomplish what, though? That's it. I don't know. That, that's what I can't so that, understand. If For, someone said that to me, if they're like, yo, let's go fucking break in, I'd be like, no. What are we doing dude, first? And then know, let me dude. know. I feel like if I was in, if I was one of those people there going banana lands and they were like, well, let's just go in. And everyone's like, let's go in. I'd be like, let's fucking go in, bro. All it takes is a couple people to start saying. But you're, don't, don't you think, if, I would immediately just go, I'm going to get arrested. Fuck it, dude. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like everyone would be like. Boing! What's yeah. fucking cause some mayhem, dude? Yeah, you got a point. I don't know. I feel like it just took a couple people to be like, let's just go in and do something. Right? Yeah, let's just fucking... T- yeah. I don't know. When they when you say go in and do something, I just don't think they did anything. No, I know. <laughs> you know? If I do I get what you're saying. They though. made some dank memes yeah. out of they it. They did though, make some so. dank memes. That's what I was going to say. It's yeah. pretty funny. Like, the guy sitting at Pelosi's desk <laughs> know, yeah. just like... I mean, it would make a great Tinder picture, but other than that, <laughs> right. doing, I mean, you just sat at, all right, great. Was it different than every other desk? Yeah. Maybe, maybe she keeps her horns the guy with the fucking or something. I don't know. The guy with the beaver on his head? <laughs> so that, that was one of the guys that they were saying is an Antifa because oh, he, no <laughs> he, he dresses up like that at different rallies and he uh, paints his face and all that shit. Ooh, rookie and mistake. They, yeah, they're like, see? See this picture of him here? Yeah. And, this, and then they, they compared it to uh, but bro, the Simpsons. Bro, bro, makes bro. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And they're like, like they, pre- they predict everything where they just have a character like that on the show. Willie? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. What is it? It's um Ireland, right? He's from Ireland? Yes. I don't know. It's just weird. Like there was no motive. There was that I couldn't they, get they, around that fact. They there was went no in motive. and broke some shit, which yeah. is stupid. It, but it's funny. The kid that works for me, he brought up a good point. I'm like, what? Well, so what's going on? Are they they breaking in? Like they busting down doors? He's like, well, they broke a window. And I'm like, okay, they broke a window. I'm like, why are those windows not fucking bulletproof? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just break a window at the state of yeah. the Capitol House, like, right? Dude, I couldn't get into a bar in Boston one night, bro, without them pretty much trying to fucking fight me. Yeah. You can just walk into the fucking house, bro, and I'm like... Yeah, I don't know. Get the fucking Boston security guards over there, bro. They'll fucking show them what's up. Yeah. It's a government building. Can I like, be like, I'm a taxpayer. I pay for this. That's I'm, what they were saying. I'm Wait. also not a conspiracy theorist, but some people are saying that they, they were kind of in on it. Like, yeah. The, the government was kind of like the cops that let him in, the f- Trump, like the fucking people well, at the White House. And then everyone kind of that was like in like, the, because they were voting, the electoral college, mm. and the people that are in there went on recess, and then the people started coming. Like it conveniently was like they were talking, oh, let's go to recess. Okay. And then they're like, well, let's open up this gate. Or Bro, like, they fucking planned that. Like it was like, <laughs> I saw a video, it was like everything was strategic. Strategic it was timed perfectly. Yeah, and you're like, of, it's kind of weird, but I really yeah. don't give a fuck. Bullshit. Well, apparently it was Trump's fault. He incited it. Yeah. He made all these people go in there. It's his fault. Yeah, you know, a security official said that it, he was planning to do something like this. They were like, yeah, he, he said he was going to do something <laughs> like this. Fucking, that's bold. I've never heard anything about this. I've never heard. I just saw it today. <laughs> I, was like, fucking oh, I get emails from Donald Trump. <laughs> he wasn't sending one out like, all right, so meet at the, like, the Capitol, <laughs> and then at about 4.30, I'll give you guys the green light. The next email will have more instructions. Right. Like, no, that didn't yeah, happen. Yeah. People are like, he needs to do something. It's like, bro, he's not going to go there and be like, hey, people. <laughs> Don't do this. Yeah. Like, he's just in that, like, you, you got to just send out a tweet, Dude, bro, like he that did. That fucking video that he made, too, is just... Guys, you beautiful people. Yeah. Great. I gotta people. go home now. Stop go it. home. <laughs> yeah. It's all fraudulent, but just go home. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You're like, okay, so you approve of what they did, but you just want them to leave now? That's basically what he said. And Mike Pence, bro. He's like, Mike Pence, gonna do a wonderful job today. Pence is like... Yep, we're good, guy. This shit's <laughs> over. You Take can't fight it, bro. <laughs> Trump's like, he's an imposter. Yeah. What a fraud. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. The Trump memes are going to... They, they were pretty good for the last four years. I think the Biden memes are going to be fucking lights out. The best comedy in I but don't dude, know, how fucking... long. My, my lifetime. It's going to be fantastic. All it's going to take... Is for the people that were sick of Trump, it's like Trump's bullshit to like do all the protesting that's happened, and then 
all the people that are going to be sick of Biden, bro. And they're going to be like, no one is like this government sucks and this is going to happen again. Yeah. Like, so I was I actually going like to ask that within the next two years, bro, that's going to happen again. Right. Yeah. But it's going to be fucked up. I think that's going to happen again sooner than two years, to be honest. I think that's going to happen again this year. When does he get sworn in? The Biden. 15th or something? Of January? Right. Uh, is it January well, or February? It's It might uh, be the end of January because... It's close. He, Trump, <laughs> yeah, Trump's got like two weeks left, and he just got kicked off of Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. But it's, Zuckerberg put out a big fucking heartfelt story about Yeah, I saw that. We've, we've put up with him for so long... But now we're extending it. But then you got fucking someone burned down a fucking police station. They're like, that's fine, I yeah. guess. Yeah. My Zuckerberg's a fucking criminal. He can't say anything. Yeah. But sorry. My buddy said something funny. Uh, he's like, they're, they're banning him from Facebook the last two weeks of his presidency. It makes no that's sense. That's like turning the hose off after it's already flooded. Like, yeah. I saw that too. Like, good, good job. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. And then you got fucking like, they're like, oh, let's impeach him. It's like, bro. He's gone. Yeah. Like, that's like me like, putting in my two weeks at work, and they're like, you should just go home. It's Wait, like, no, like, did what? you see someone say they're going to impeach him now? Yeah. Yeah. That's like they wanted, fucking stupid. They wanted to impeach him Wednesday night or Thursday morning. They want to... Article 25. If I was him, I'd be like, you tried this already. <laughs> like, yeah. 25th like, Amendment. They were trying to get him impeached, and then they were trying to get Pence in to you know through the 25th Amendment saying that Donald help. Trump is unsuited. You know, unwell to be a president or something like that. We got fucking sleepy Joe Biden that's like falling asleep while talking to people and fucking. Yeah, moment. yeah, but you know what? He's just a puppet for Kamala to get in. Yep, he's the segue for Kamala. He's not gonna do anything. Everyone loves that girl. I seem like, but no one voted for her to fucking even run in the race. Dude. No, <laughs> like she was like. I don't think everyone loves that girl. Well, from that's what the I thing see. about a vice president. Yeah. They just get picked by the running president. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could get picked to be vice president. I have nothing to do. I don't need to get voted for. Yeah. Imagine fucking us, one of the vice presidents. Dude. Talk about talk about wanting to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> what the vice pe- presidents have actually... No, never mind. That was going to be a deeper question. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> yeah. So do we have a good video? Yeah, no, we can go into some, some videos well, or this talks. This one's pretty funny. This one is pretty funny. All right. Let me get this on. Oh fuck no! These are my dad's pants that uh, that he was wearing when he actually passed away. Uh, he worked in an oil refinery, and uh, there was unfortunately an explosion. <laughs> and uh, I just really think that he wanted these pants to go out the way he did, burning. So, <laughs> Jesus! What? My <laughs> <laughs> dad. Uh, Interesting. Shit. I mean, <laughs> and he's like, and he's one. serious. I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> and, uh, I don't think he sends across the same message. Jesus Christ. Um, and if he burned in the oil refinery and blew up, how come the pants did? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking pants material is that? Yeah, the justice was not done there. Um, Kevlar pants. All right, I want. I have so much random bullshit to jump into. So, oh, dude, I have to actually say something okay, let's, serious, bro. Yeah, let, yeah. I'm about to have a heart attack. Like right now? Chew an aspirin. No, fucking the other day, my heart was like killing me, dude. And like, you need to go into surgery. Like, so I said, nah. And like, a hundred thousand dollars to go to the doctor, or just make my own funeral cost at four gay, dude. Like, what? Did, which one did I pick? My own motherfucking funeral. That was Smart a choice joke. there. Smart right. choice there. What did you have to say? For a second, I was <laughs> like, oh, I don't know if he's serious or not, but I kind of, I kind of felt it. <laughs> um, how old do you think these celebrities are? Because it's kind of wild when I found out how old most of them are. I bet you'll get all of them. How close do you think you'll get? Within th- two and a half years. Okay, I don't know any of them, but I'm gonna write oh, down. God damn it! You I'm gonna write down people. I'm, yeah, kind <laughs> of. I'm gonna write down all of our answers, and then you should look it up after. All, all right. right. How old do you think Robert De Niro is? He's seventy-five, seventy-six, sixty-eight, eighty. So eighty fucking years old. Holy crap! That's Jeez. how old he is. I, I don't know. Oh, that's your guess. That's my guess. So oh, seventy-five, seventy-six, and you said sixty-five. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. I said eighty. Jack Nicholson. 
Ooh, he's pretty old. I'm going to say ooh, 79. So you think he's older than Robert De Niro? Oh, yeah. This is the same true. question that happened to me. I was like, fuck, I don't know now. No, he's not. Huh? No, he can't be. So he's probably. I don't know if he is. <laughs> he was old in The Shining, bro. That's what I'm saying. So I, I try to think of all these and it blew my mind. I do know how old the last person is on this list, but. Fuck, I'm going to have to say 63. Jack see, Nicholson. See, I'm I'm the Maybe opposite not. now. I Maybe. think I went a little too under on the first, so I think I think he's around eighty. <laughs> yeah, so, like seriously. Because... I'm going eighty again too. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying they're the same age. You said sixty eight. Wait, what did I say in the first one? You said seventy five, seventy six, which is a good guess. Yeah, sixty. No, no way, he's sixty. He's seventy one. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to change your first guess? No. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll win fair and, <laughs> yeah. fair and square. Yeah. Fair and square. Um, you said eighty for this too. Yeah. All right, Al Pacino. I'll go first on this one because I'm kind of flipped on this. Is he alive? I know he... Yeah, he's very alive. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's been with guy. Martin Scorsese and Joe Pet and all of them for years, but I've always thought he was younger than all of them. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm going to say 70. I'm going 10 years younger than the I would Nero. say he's like 73. 69. LOL. Okay. Danny DeVito. Oh, he's like 55, 56. Have you seen a picture of him? Dude, hold that, he's like don't, totally gray. Don't oh, try to help him. <laughs> you don't think he's that? He I know how old Danny that? DeVito is. It's fucked up because he's still filming Always Sunny. He, they're on the 15th, 16th, 17th. They're filming those seasons right now, and he's still filming them. You can take that into consideration, but... And he was in that movie that... Was he like Batman? He was in one of those. I don't think he was Batman, but no, no, no. The Penguin or something? Yeah, right yes. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. That was a long time ago too. Fuck. Chill. I'll Ooh. give you a hint. It's above sixty-five. Seventy-six. I'd say seventy-four, seventy-five. I think I'm fucking pretty low in the first one. Me I'm too. going seventy-nine. Well, you just said you knew it, so there it is. He's 79. I think I know it. Oh. Okay. I have a feeling. So what I thought I saw was that Danny DeVito was 82. And I don't know if that's correct yet. We can, Yeah, you can look that one up if you want. Um, Eric, what did you say for Danny DeVito? You say 75? I don't know. And I think you said 74, 70? Yeah, 74, 75. 72. 72, yeah, right. And I said 79. But I thought I saw that he was 82. This could be the first one we look up. Holy fuck, he was born in 44, bro? Jesus Christ. Wait. He's 43? No, he's not. That's that's that's, that's not right. <laughs> no, he was not born in 78. 44, I would say. Which is what? Uh, yeah, 76. 76. Good guess. Who's the next... Oh, do you have uh, another one to guess? Tim Allen is my next one. I have one more after that. Oh, he's old. That's what I'm saying, too, but I, don't, I have no idea how old, so I'm, I'm just guessing. 67. I second that. 67? 67. I'm going 69. And then the last one's Denzel Washington, and I do know how old Denzel is. This is going to be wild if you guys don't know. I feel like he's not that old. Me either. But I feel like he's an underdog. 58. 60 and a half. Dude, he's 66. Really? Damn, he is a 67. senior citizen still filming full-on fucking action films. Holy fuck. And to add on top of this, which he isn't on the list, but Liam Neeson's in his 70s, and he's doing like a Taken 4. <laughs> he's an old fucker, dude. Yeah, all right. How old was Tim Allen? 67. 67. Did Damn, we guess that? You guys both got that on the dot. Let's you, go. I got 69, so yeah. I was wrong. All right, Robert Let's De Niro. Go. Nope. So, Eric, you said 75, 76. Anthony, you said 68. I said 80. 77. 77. Jesus Christ, dude. I haven't... 
Jack you know what Nicholson. my problem is? What? I think I watched all the movies when they were like young. Right. And I'm like, no, they're still that age. Dude, when I watched them in The Irishman the other day, or not the other day, a couple months ago, I was like, dude, he's 83. 83! I told you. I was like, yo, no fucking way, but 80 fucking three years old. So me and you guessed 80. Eric, you guessed 71. Uh, next one's Al Pacino. How the fuck do you spell that? Uh, Al the P. A P. Eric, you said 69. Anthony said 73. I said 70. Oh, he definitely ain't that old, bro. 80, bro? 80 fucking years old. Get the fuck out of I said 70. We were all way far off. Anthony, you were the closest. A refill. Danny DeVito, we said, was what? 76. Tim Allen was 67. And then, yeah, Denzel was the last one. So, how old is Liam Neeson? 68. Oh, okay. He's not in his 70s yet. What? Bro, he was in fucking Star Wars. How was he not in his 70s? <laughs> that only came out. That one came out in 1999. True, true, or true. Or 2000. That one was the later one, yeah. Legend. Big legend. Big fucking legend. You know he's like wicked racist. Old it, white guy? Yep, probably. <laughs> we don't. <know. laughs> what is this? What Ooh, are we should we see, do, let's just fucking watch this video. All right. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I just spilled beer. That literally stopped me from pouring this. That was loud. As I mean, fuck. don't get me wrong. If you miss from that close, you're a fucking asshole. But bro, he didn't flinch. Dude, the balls yeah. though. <laughs> bro, he didn't even move. He Neither did the guy on the right of him. What is this? Bro, are they in. What, yeah, do you know where they are? They're used to this. <laughs> true. <laughs> That is very true. I don't know if you can say that, but... You guys know how microwaves work? Yeah, it's radiation, isn't it? Yeah, bro, it's when you yell something, hmm, enough, it warms up. So this is an extremely common myth that I was literally fucking blown away when I found out that this is how it, it just works. just a light bulb? So you no. said it's like radiation. Everyone, the idea is it's some type of very minor radiation, some type of like heat like that. Dude, the only way it heats up is because the disc in the bottom is rotating and something else is rotating at the opposite speed, tapping it at such a la uh, light and fast pace. That So I'll give you an example. If you tap a window as like consistently as you can from the corner to the middle of the window, it'll shatter. Any window you do it on. It's like a law of physics of some kind. I have no idea what it means. No, hmm. They have microwaves that don't have the tables. spinning. The, so yeah. it, it's not like in the microwave. I guess it's like on, it's not the dish that you put your food. Oh, on. it's like two things in it. It's then. like it's like so some weird rotating and shit. tapping so fast that it's heating it up and like vibrating the plate. That's all it is, or not the plate, just the the container. What? Yeah, there's not radiation. It's <laughs> literally just rotating circles. I'm too stupid to argue with you there because <laughs> I, I can't say no, it's this, but my brain is saying bullshit. There is a video, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the astrophysicist, explains it, how microwaves work. And it's only like three minutes. I didn't want to like pull up the whole mm. video, but it's a legit fucking thing. I highly recommend listening to it because I've thought my whole life microwaves were just like a chemical blast to the food. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. I thought it was like... When you learn about radiation and shit like that in science class, like the gamma rays and the microwaves, right. I don't know. <laughs> right. No. I'm pretty right. sure it was something like that. I don't know. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention in high school. I basically yeah. got my diploma so my mother wouldn't be depressed. <laughs> she wanted to watch me walk. I did it. <laughs> yeah. That was really weird when I, when I heard that. I was like, that's fucking strange as hell, but... um, You did have another video up, right? Was that I'm one of the ones I sent you? loaded. Because that, that video was... I guess that thumbnail kind of ruins it, but... Easy. Oh, man. You see how hard he lands? What was he trying to do? Easy. Throw the shoes on his feet? He's trying to <laughs> land on him so he's walking on the shoes like, oh, on with his hands. Okay. But, bro, <laughs> that's a hard fucking, like, that's a neck snap in my opinion. Look at that, ready? Dude, it don't take much to snap your neck. Not at all. Nope. Especially if you're a limb little Asian man. I don't know if he's Asian. It's just he's of white descent, kind of. You know what though? I've been kind of waiting for something not like that to happen to me, but 
for me to like just tweak my back in a way because it's been hurt for so fucking long. Yeah. And I remember I went good I went snowboarding one time and I scorpioned myself <laughs> and I was like, oh, my back. I feel like I'm. 10 years old again. Right. Like, this is great. Yeah. I should fall down snowboarding more often. <laughs> Have you ever been to a chiropractor? No. I, I haven't either. I I'm think dying oh, to go. Great. Eric tells me it's I'd like love to go. Amazing. But it's great. I'm, I'm torn. Because I have a lot of people in my life that are like medical professionals. And they're like, if you go to a chiropractor, you're an idiot. And you deserve what's going to happen to you. And then there are other people that are like, I used to not be able to walk. Now I can walk. <laughs> because I... Like, it's fucking so nice. I mean the scale between those two are kind of <laughs> right but when you hear both of right them and yeah. you're like Ooh. I'll tell you this I I am in the medical field I work with a ton of medical professionals it is harmless if you go to a respected chiropractor that's right it. not some Joe Schmo go to one that's reputable yeah yeah but dude I see the videos on Instagram yeah people the, getting cracked up right. on like there are some fucked I'd pay up a thousand dollars for that right now dude. yeah <laughs> it looks so like it, it's one of those things like a massage. Like a good massage, you're supposed to walk out of the place fucked. Right. Up. Like mm. it's supposed you're to be like, sore Jesus. and hurt. Yeah. But the next day, it's life changing. Yeah. Dude, our fucking chiropractor videos like always creepy. Yep. 100%. They always have a girl with a huge ass with see through yoga pants. Yeah. Okay, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. You've never. I thought you were talking about like. So there's like, what's the. What's the, there's one that sounds old, like the introduction to a porn. <laughs> no, so seriously, there's one guy on YouTube. Um, bet you, I bet. He's like, if I click videos, it's going to be a big ass. <laughs> yeah, seriously. There's an ass. Look at That is an ass. That is an ass. There's Most one guy that's like a creepy... There's tits. Southern doctor. Not, he's not a doctor. He's a chiropractor. And he always has the hottest chicks. On his <laughs> head. It's just like, you know, Sarah is just coming home from the yoga studio and she wanted to finish her workout here. It's just, oh, dude, no. Was that was loud. Uh, of course it's gonna be. Although I will say, too, it's either that or a huge bodybuilder. Hot chick in yoga pants or like a huge bodybuilder. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> you know, they only just. First video guy. <laughs> They only do these videos for YouTube because <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. we will click on it. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? 100%. They have a hundred of videos of these, and they're all just very unpleasant patients, and that's the one they upload type of thing. Yeah, they're not putting all right, fuck a 200-pound, 50-year-old old lady. Right, like, right. They're not doing that one. Yeah. They still have to do their job. They just don't t pull the video camera out. Yeah. Because they're fucking creeps. <laughs> yeah. I don't... I guess you could find fucking anything creepy nowadays. You look up something uh, on YouTube, I guarantee a fat ass or a rack is going to be in the thumbnail. So. Yeah. Who would win in a fight? A silverback gorilla or the largest alligator in the world, which is 17 feet, 400 pounds? Gorilla. Alligator is not agile. I mean, if you, if you got a chomp out of the 17-foot alligator... That's going to leave a mark, but the gorilla is going to jump around and fucking stomp him out. I feel like if the, if the alligator can lure it into the water or near the water. True. Let's level the playing field. Open area? Open area. 1v1 quick scope, snow scopes? No. <laughs> Open area. <laughs> Pistols only. Now, the, the gorilla uh, mm. is just... I don't know. I guess the gorilla would win that most scenarios, wouldn't he? All yeah. right. A silverback gorilla versus a black... Grizzly bear. It's just a grizzly bear. Not. I don't know why I said black. It's African American grizzly bear. Yes. She. I think they're fighting to the death. Yeah. They both just tap out at the end. I think I gotta go with the gorilla still. I would think the gorilla would win that because it has like the mobility to like put you in a headlock and like jump and and like flick you in the eye. You know what I mean? Like gorillas mm. can do shit. Bears can't. But. According to the shit I saw online, grizzly bears would fuck a gorilla up. Really? Mm. I guess so. Gorillas are mainly omnivores. Bears, grizzly bears specifically, are carnivores, so they're prone to hunting. So they're used to hunting large creatures, and a gorilla would probably just try to defend itself, where a bear would be going for the kill shot every time. Yeah, but the thing with bears is they're kind of pussies. Right. And like, they're fucking huge. They're like big and fucking. 
we go camping sometimes, and I remember this one time I was younger. You know, my family used to have a travel trailer. We would go camping at regular campgrounds. You know, all all campers around pretty like civilized area, not just going out into the woods. New Hampshire. Yeah. Yep. And oh, New Hampshire, Maine, anywhere right. around there. North. We were at the beach one day, whole group of us, and this was like a long weekend. So we had you know bags of trash and beer cans and fucking steak tips and everything. All over the campsite. There was one spot where there were trash bags full of, like, the last night's dinners. And when we got back from the beach, oh, there God. were four. Uh, they weren't grizzly bears. Probably, like, black bears yeah, or something. Just yeah, just, like, smaller. There was a couple right. cubs, and then there was the mother. And I was, like, ten years old when this happened. I'm like, holy fuck. That bear is right, there. like, <laughs> it's right in front of the bathroom door of my camper. And I gotta take a piss. Like, this is, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. And... Literally, the the clown of like the my father's friends in the camping group, the guy that drinks, you know, he gets bottom shelf vodka and makes bloody marys the all, cheap stuff all yeah. day long. Right, right. Fishing hat, flannel pajamas all day, like yeah. that guy. Not a bad life, <laughs> dude. Dude, love him, love the guy. Right. But he goes right up to the, all three, four of the bears with literally a couple pots, and he's like just clapping, screaming, "Hey, get out of here!" and <laughs> I've never seen a bear run so fast in my life. They were just like, Woo, get they out just of took here. off. Yeah, damn, good. That's lucky. That's good. And it was like, I was shitting my pants because I have no idea. I'm like, what do you do? Do we have bear spray? <laughs> what are we yeah. like? And the guy just literally bear started. Spray. He started making a scene and being a loud, obnoxious guy. And they were just like, we're out. Yeah. See you later. I heard that's the biggest thing that affects bears is loud noises. Just dude. make noise. Or, them. or they loud fuck fucking... you up over it though. I, yeah. I guess it depends on the bear. If you're, like, right. next... Say, like, a mama bear just saw its cubs get slaughtered by a fucking wolf. Oh, the mama bear will you just walk up behind you. it and you're like, yeah! You know what I mean? It'll fucking turn around. They're smart as fuck, They are though, wicked dude. smart, dude. Mm-hmm. They are mad they smart. They have fucking, uh... Uh, Clark's training post. They have fucking bear shows, bro. They ride fucking bicycles. Yeah. Scooters and shit. Yep, I saw... I've actually never been to one until a few years ago. We were going. Yeah, me too, bro. When you're an adult, you're like, is, is that, that bear real, riding bro? a fucking bike right now? <laughs> Kids are like, that's cool. As an adult, I'm like, mm. is that is that CGI? Is that a robot, dude? And then it's like, Bruh! you're like, oh fuck. Yeah. And then he does a few laps, and the instructor's like, good job. Here's a whole fish. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here's a bass. Yeah. Fucking... Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Want to dive into another video? Yes, sir. Mr. Rito Brown on Instagram. I fucking love this dude. <laughs> Do you see it? Why? Why? She went to jump into the ocean. Did you see it? <laughs> she missed. <laughs> what happened? She just like did a 180. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so wow. fucking stupid to me. I don't know why. I looked at that. I was like, Jesus. Um, the other one that I sent you by him is mad funny. Is it this one? Yeah, this dude has mad funny videos posted all the time. Is there volume? I don't know. No, no, so no. Oh, okay. So I have to explain this one a little bit, but I'll wait until it restarts. I don't know if you see what's happening. See this guy walking on the side right here? No. Hold on. Oh, right here? Yeah. Wait until... Try to think of how he gets there. Is this a cat? Thing? So see what's happening. Ready? Watch right in the beginning. There's, it's a car chase. That's the car that he's in. Yeah, he just dipped out right oh. there. Ready? And look. There goes the car. Gets up, and he's just standing there looking at the car. He's looking around, and he just walks over, mad slow, mad calm. That's like Bro, crazy. he just evaded that fucking cop chase. <laughs> but That's like awesome. a gangster. But like... the driver's still getting <laughs> fucked. Oh, yeah. The driver's getting fucked. Yeah, 100%. But that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he put on a cheat code. Five stars to pedestrian in yeah. five point five seconds. Shit's fire. I don't know what this video is. Oh, this is funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> All right, so can we talk about fat people? Sure. Why are they a thing like this? <laughs> Why are they I'm a fat, thing? but I'm not this fat, so I can talk. It's always shit. been a thing, though. It's always been a thing, like the 
my 600 pound life. I was just going to bring that up. I think this is it. I think this Dude, is like a new season. A thousand pound sisters. This is it. I am my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's <laughs> you can do. You want to be a big baby. baby about everything. I ain't baby. You're the damn baby. Grow the up. You first. Bitch, I've been grown. I pay my bills. My bills are paid. Yeah. My yeah. bills are paid. <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> Yo, if I don't know if you saw, I saw something. And, uh, this was probably before the podcast. I think last year, one of them had like a really bad heart condition. It was like seven hundred pound sisters uh, in fatal injury in the hospital for heart condition. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck did you expect? And it like went to, like somewhat viral, and then I got banned from Twitter. Uh, right. I was like, what the fuck? Like, come on. But uh, yeah, that's that shit stupid as hell. Yeah, I don't. I like, don't know. Maybe it, some people find it fascinating. Like, I think my girlfriend's one of them. She wants, I was going to say. She she watches shit like that. and Because it's almost that, how do you get that exactly, fucking bro. fat? How? I, I saw a video where they had to remove a wall. Yes. And, mm-hmm. like, make a different stretcher and lift this fucking yeah. person. Like, they had, like, a forklift, bro. Like, yeah. What's why? the, uh, what's the why? movie? How do you even get there, bro? Right. No right, idea. Right. Do you blame that on them or the parents? No, it's probably just a mm. medical condition. It is never and has never have been. I've a, never seen goddamn condition. Romans, bro, that are fucking 700 pounds and said, maybe I'm just a fucking god. No. No, that, that wasn't a thing. Obesity then, is not a medical condition. No. Yeah. Fucking idiots. And yeah. they get probably paid a lot of money to be on this show. Have you seen that show, though? They're like cool as fuck. Yeah. Which is yeah. why I'm assuming they have multiple seasons. So my my friend Haley, fucking, she loves the show. She watches it every like if there's a new uh, season coming out, she'll like plan to watch it type of thing. So, like, I see it's fascinating, but like, why do we like promote that? Bro? It's the, I saw a fat mannequin the other day, dude. A fat mannequin? A fat mannequin. I've never seen that. No, that's a new thing. Cause what? No it's... fat mannequins in the men's section, though. <laughs> They're all buff and rep. Yeah. No, it's literally, it's Sexist one of the memes. Bullshit. It's like the another un, unreasonable fucking body thing for women. Uh, what do they call it? Fat shaming? Uh, I'm blacked. But, uh... <laughs> It's like you can't, you can't just have the skinny mannequins. Because oh, you the mic, what if the I want to go buy a two-piece bikini and I'm four hundred and fifty pounds? What if I want to do that? It's not fair. You don't. Yeah, that's a, actually we've had this conversation before uh, because it's kind of touchy. But fat models, that's stupid. If you're fat, then you're not a model. I disagree, and I'm only going to tell you one reason why. Okay. Because there are some girls that are bigger and like. Almost to the oh. point where it's like that unhealthy big, not not like a thick girl, like big girl, but a, a lot of them do. Are, they're like very beautiful women. They got a pretty face and this and that or whatever. They can really dress nice, but don't call the, them a model. Yeah, That's all I'm I saying. mean, the, the That's whole I'm saying. thing to be a supermodel is <laughs> Bro, like yeah, models were designed for fashion purposes. They're designed to sell. They're designed. If you have a obese model, you're telling. Five to ten year old girls. Oh, I can just be fat. Yeah. It's not that it's not okay. It's right. not healthy. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, there is sometimes where it's like you know, there's a like big, there's a big a girl that is doing everything she can, and she's like trying to lose weight, but she's still a pretty girl. So yeah. she takes pictures. That's cool and whatever. But they're like the audacity of the people that are just fat because they're fat, and they're like, "Fuck you! You tell me I'm beautiful right now." Yeah, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, I deserve to be on the cover of a magazine, too. Right. No, you don't. I know a lot of big girls that are very gorgeous women. Right. They're just... I just wouldn't say they're a model. You like know if what I'm, I mean? If like, I right. buy a fucking Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition, I'm not beating my meat to 300 pounds and beating it to 100 pounds of wet. It, <laughs> thank you. Perfect example. <laughs> you're going to play girl and seeing me in it. You're going right. to be like... You're not going to be like fingering yourself and be like, ooh, big boy. I can't wait yeah. to get to that. Like, <laughs> you're going to say, ooh, that guy has a six pack. That guy has a one pack. All right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's yeah. The, it's the keg, bro. Yeah. The keg. <laughs> the keg. Six pack, keg, whatever. But no, it's. Uh, yeah. But you know what? Are we what? canceled yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that won't do it. We'll, we'll have to go a little deeper than that. What would win in a fight? King Kong or 
Gabriel Iglesias. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> King Kong or the Hulk? King Kong. Kong's big, and he's, like, big and powerful, but I think Hulk gets to that, like, I'm fucking crazy, and I'd rather fight the biggest guy in the room than the craziest guy in the room. I don't know. King Kong's pretty nuts, bro. So this is, the, and this is a perfect argument. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. King Kong can win if he were to do some type of knockout type thing in the beginning. The Hulk gets stronger the angrier he gets. Yeah. If you fuck the Hulk up and he don't die, he's fucking King Kong up. That's what's happening. But yeah. I kind of agree with Eric. Some he things, skilled the fucking... It's 500 brain. times the size of you. Yeah. All he has to do is just do one good stomp and you're fucking out. Yeah. You know? But if he doesn't... But if he does <laughs> luck. <laughs> if he misses... Dude, every time I hear the word King Kong, I always think of Bobby Lee's audition, bro, whenever he talks about <laughs> it. Hi-ya! Hi yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, so you're fucking all set. good. Yeah. Who'd win in a fight? Bobby Lee or Aunt Andrew... Uh, no. Uh, King Jong... Yes, thank you. Ken John. Yes, Ken John. Probably Ken John. I, I would think Ken John. <laughs> he's a doctor, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's one of the fucking greatest American success stories of all time. He's oh, 100 percent. He's a doctor. He's a fucking whiz kid. Like he's a fucking Actually, movie he's star. Movie, yeah. movie star. Comedy. Yeah. Korean. Mad, yeah. Dude, Pam did not crack. go to North Korea. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he is fucking hilarious too. Like I saw a stand-up bit of his. It was on Netflix. I think it was a special. He had a whole special. And he talks about his story, like, you know, um, how he was a doctor and he did this. And then he married his wife, who's right. also a doctor. And they're fucking, they're just like, they're powerful, dude. They're both smart. He's hilarious, successful in all these movies. Facts. I'd like to have a couple of beers with that guy. That is he the is, American dream. Dude, he literally just crushes everything. Right. <laughs> he literally came to America and just fucked everything everything up he stole the markets and he's smart because he played the asian role most asians are like yeah no i'm not gonna get famous because they want me to talk like a chinese man well look he's a millionaire toodaloo now. motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> toodaloo, motherfucker. <laughs> like he the, that's what fucking that's you Dude, know it's just playing a character yeah all right what's a better show charlie brown or hey arnold tough charlie brown bro because Every holiday, what are you watching? Charlie hey Brown. <laughs> I'm going Hey Arnold by far. <laughs> really? By far. Yeah. I haven't seen either in so long that like my instinct is saying Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown is right? just more of American classic yeah. fucking. But I think Hey Arnold was good. <coughs> what, what was that crazy bitch's name that I had was the shrine? Angelica. Of him? Helga? No. Helga. Angelica I thought it was Angelica. Was, no, Rugrats. she was Rugrats. Exactly. She was a, she was Rugrats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She Dude, had the Arnold, like, the the Arnold shows, bro. Dude, the, the OG the shows. Dog. That, was, that was my next one. What was a better show? Courage the Cowardly Dog or Ren and Stimpy? I said Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Carry, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage bro. the Cowardly Dog. Because that shit. See, would, we, I like the how we got shit different would answers. Scare the fuck out of me as a Dude, kid. Petrified. But I'd always watch it. Petrified. Yeah. I would cry over that show and be like. It's the next episode. Right, yeah, the next one's on in, ten, in a minute. Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. But, dude, Fairly Odd Parents Fox. My shiny teeth and me, dude. Oh, yeah. Chips. I match my shiny so teeth and me. This is a huge, and you guys can tell me if I'm crazy on this. I did not. Okay, so Most I'm likely, not a big like, fan of SpongeBob. Bro, come on. Wasn't bro. a big fan of Fairly Odd Parents. Wasn't a big fan of Jimmy Neutron. Anything on Nickelodeon. What? Dude, I was the Bugs Bunny. Courage the Cowardly Dog, Looney Tunes, Teen Titans. You were the CM, yeah. bro. Oh, I, what's that? Um, you were, Codename Kids Next Door, bro? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Rocket Power. And, and, hey and Arnold, dude. Yeah. Like, Rocket Power was Nickelodeon, though. Rocket, I was going to label okay, you. Okay, true. As, Rocket Power might be. I was going to label you as a Cartoon Network Channel 60. That might kid. be it, then. That, <laughs> that, might, that might have been it. That was Channel yeah. 60. I was, yeah. I was <laughs> more Nickelodeon, Channel 25. I think the 25, it didn't work for me that well, dude. I watched a lot of the shit. I have to admit, SpongeBob's the one. I would go back and watch more of because mm -hmm. that it's classic. But Fairly Odd Parents, dude, that shit did not click with me. Jimmy Neutron did not click with me, dude. I, I did. Know. I, I'm I'm not a huge fan of cartoons as much as I am of real shows too. Mm. So like when Fresh Prince came on, yeah. Whoa, what about Roseanne? Roseanne, <laughs> whoa. You a fan of The Simpsons? Yeah, I mean, yes and hit, no. Hit or miss. I, right. I, I, I never. In the same way. I was never. I'm not a big TV person. I don't. 
Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't really <laughs> play video games. I was like outside touching boobs and like growing up outside. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I didn't play I video games. I would touch worms, fucking... not boobs, but. Family Guy or Simpsons? <laughs> Family Guy. 10 Family out of 10. Guy. American just... Dad or the Cleveland Show? American Dad. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Bo- on, or uh, Bob's Burgers or. Rick and Morty. <laughs> no. See, you're losing. Rick and Morty by a landslide. Yeah. <laughs> you're losing me there. Yeah. You're losing me there because now you, it's like I don't, you I don't, don't know. Even, I don't yeah. even watch those shows. I will <laughs> you say, don't watch Rick and Morty, bro. Not really. Rick and Morty's classic. Yeah, I like, will say that might be the best show in the past five years, dude. That's a fucking good show. There's one. There's one video clip. It's like ten minutes long, of a court case that actually happened in real life, and. The voice actors from Rick and Morty screen read the actual like log from inside of the courtroom, and it was fucking beautiful. No, I... It was so perfectly like the the characters from the show. Um, they did like the voices yeah. on different. Rick is the defendant in the courtroom, and Fire. Morty is the judge. Does he use his actual <laughs> voice? Like, yes. Hey, the, okay. The, it, word. It's there's a full animated video on it, and it's just it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to say, I I saw that, and I'm like, Rick and Morty's definitely got to be good, bro. This is fucking. That hilarious. third and fourth season is literally the best cartoon I've like. Watched in the past like 10 15 years. Like, I haven't watched the newest one, bro. <laughs> watched a couple episodes, but then, like, I feel like I couldn't find a new episode. I was gonna say they only had it on their website for a while, like the uh, legit Adult Swim website. So oh. I could only stream it off of there and I had to pay. So oh. I was like, oh, this is fucking bullshit. But I only watched the first five episodes of season five. And man, dude, season four, I was like, you can't get oh, more creative. Season five is what I'm thinking. I haven't seen that yet. Is that okay. What thinking? Well, season four is on Hulu now. The whole season four is on Hulu, and I thought they couldn't push the envelope. Season four pushed it and kicked it and pissed on it, <laughs> and then season five doubled down. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, dude, the writers on that show—they're fucked. They're fucking amazing. They like the fuck kids, though. They do like the fuck kids. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, there's like no. a weird video of him yeah. like. Try to fuck a baby. I was going to say, about 10 or 15 episodes back, we went over that. It was a whole big thing. Oh, um, jeez. So I guess, yeah, the, the last one on that better show was Teen Titans or Rocket Power. I don't know if you guys Rocket remember. Power, full fucking woogity woogity woogity. I think Rocket Power, too. Woogity woogity woogity. Yeah. I liked Teen Titans, but I didn't, like, dive into it as deep as the others, so. Hello, TBV podcast listeners. This is concluding part one of episode 33. I do not know the episode name yet. I think it might be the Sako Sesh, but I'm not sure. Um, This episode is split into two parts due to the length of the episode. Part two will be releasing next Tuesday as scheduled, and we also have a special episode that I do not want to spoil yet that will be releasing the following week. Thank you again for tuning in. You can visit patreon.com slash tbvpodcast. Follow us on all the social medias. We have them all in the description. Hit us up, brutalview at gmail.com, 603-922-4074. Again, special thank you to Anthony for coming through. Thanks for listening.